Now there's an old saying that says that a person's name to that person is the sweetest and most important sound in any language around the world. Now while we clearly hold our own names in high regard, the same is also true for many of our dog's names. And that's why it's important that many people often seek and spend a lot of time coming up with the perfect name for their Great Dane that amazingly fits their personality, makes them feel unique and special. So with that, we'll talk about a few ways to creatively come up with a name for your Great Dane that meets these exact same exacting standards. Now, if you're brand new to the channel, my name is Zach and this is Gus, and we're part of the team at Great Dane Care. And it's our mission to help Great Dane owners around the world with the most common questions and tips and tricks to better serve you and your Great Dane. So if this is something that resonates with you, make sure to go ahead and subscribe to our channel down below and give us a like on this video as well. And before we get into those names, make sure you hang out until the end of the video so we can tell you the origin of Gus's name since we have gotten so many questions in the comments about it. Now when it comes to naming your Great Dane, there's a lot of approaches you can take. It could be names that you just simply like because they resonate with you in some way, shape, or form. It could be related to gender specific names that you also really like, or perhaps even the dog's color. So knowing that there are different coat colors that could make sense to kind of tailor your dog's name to. Uh, but these could also be around their personality as well. Now, in addition to these approaches, I've also seen a lot of other ones taken as well. Some people like to kind of have a, a funny name for their Great Dane. Uh, others like to associate it to a favorite TV show or a place or a movie with some character that they really resonated with. While others choose to just simply go after classics like gods and goddesses that have been around for hundreds, if not thousands of years to best represent their Great Dane. Now, regardless of which of these approaches you take, it's important that you go with a name that you like and makes you feel happy because not only will you be referring to your Great Dane by this name for hopefully many, many years while they're alive, but also just the memories that will last over time. And you'll think about them for years to come after they've passed away into doggy heaven as well. Um, so with that, we'll jump into a few examples of names to kind of give you inspiration for ones that you could come up with. Now I'll start here by going through a few examples of some gender specific names that I really like for Great Danes. But once again, you should feel free to have fun with these and pick one that you really like and really resonates personally with you. But just to name a few that I think are really entertaining, there are examples like Greta, Doris, Willow, Aspen, Kona, Freya, Moxie. These are all names that obviously could be used for people, but in most cases are kind of an oddball name. And that's personally kind of why I like this approach for Great Danes. Um, however, we can apply the same approach to our male names as well. So some common examples might include Reggie, Walter, Drake, Scooter, Watson, Luigi, Dwight, Colt. You can see that once again, there's an endless array of possibilities when it comes to names. Now, as an alternate, there's also a way to kind of approach this from the color standpoint. So let's talk through some examples that are more specific to a Great Danes color. Now, when it comes to blue Great Danes like Gus, um, some common examples could be Suede, Grayson, Sapphire, Azure, Azul. So kind of getting that blue theme in mind. And when we think about black Great Danes, some ones that I've heard very frequently include Shadow, Sable, Smokey, and Twilight. Now moving on to Fawn Great Dane names, some ones that you might want to pick from could include Tanner, Sandy, Sunny, Tawny, and maybe even Biscuit. Now thinking about our mantles and our harlequins, I think you can really get creative here and come up with some examples that include things like Freckles or Patch, Harley's a really common one, uh, Oreo is a really funny one, uh, Dot, Puddles, Penny. Uh, you can see that these are kind of obviously doing a play off of their mixture of the color pattern here. From real Great Dane names, you could come up with ones such as Patch, Dipstick, Twister, Blot, or Spotty. And last but certainly not least are brindles for names like Tiger, Chestnut, Tanner, and Patches. While the color Great Dane names may seem a little bit obvious and harder to come up with unique ones, uh, one other area that you can really also play into are kind of the funny names uh, that make references to just kind of you know goofy characters that resonate with you, but also of course the obvious references to a, a Great Dane's large size. So some funny names that I've got on my list include Citizen Dane, Thumbelina, Weeble, Doggy McDogface, if you're not familiar with the competition that was held many years ago to famously name a boat, and the winner by a vote of the internet was Boaty McBoatface, clear play on words here. Others could also include Dyson, Bruno Mars, Gizmo, Margarita, or Dinky, and Nano. Now on the opposite of the spectrum, when we think about the play on words related to a Great Dane size, 
Another kind of common approach is to think of names that kind of have a kind of majestic feel to them or are referencing gods and goddesses. Uh, so some ones here could include things like Pharaoh, Caesar, Khaleesi for my Game of Thrones fans, Kaiser, Titan, Daenerys, Zeus, Apollo, Atlas. These are all names that inspire our gods and goddesses of thousands and hundreds of years ago. Now this is just obviously a short list of potential names for your Great Dane. Once again, you should kind of use these practices to kind of come up with your own list that really, once again, resonates with you and makes you happy and feel good and really connected to your Great Dane. Uh, but if you do want some additional names for inspiration, we've got a full list over on our website and that's at greatdanecare.com forward slash names. Now, there's several hundred names in the list. Now, if you want to grab one off and use for your Great Dane, feel free to do so. Uh, but once again, it's great to kind of use these as points of inspiration for coming up with uh, your own name as well. Now, as I hinted to in the beginning of the video, we also want to share how Gus here got her name. Now, we've gotten a lot of questions in the comments about why a female dog is named Gus. And while this is certainly a fair question, I can assure you that the story behind it is not that exciting. Uh, what essentially happened is my wife and I were waiting for uh, months to kind of work with a particular breeder to get a puppy from a litter. And at the time, we just really had liked the name Gus and decided that when we got our new puppy from the litter that they were gonna be Gus. Uh, lo and behold, when the litter actually arrived, it was actually a smaller litter that only had two boys in it. Um, so we ended up getting a female dog from the litter, which we're still perfectly happy with, but we were kind of attached to the name and because we'd been referencing the dog at the time for months now as Gus, and she ended up being a girl, uh, we said, oh, all right, it's too late now. It's already kind of set in our minds. And we didn't really mind, so we just kind of went ahead and kept with Gus. It's a short and sweet name, and while it's clearly not a typical girl name, we've been using it for years since. So that covers the controversy around Gus's poor name here. If it's something that really bothers you, then feel free to think of Gus as a abbreviation for Gustavina or some kind of other Eastern European name that has more of a feminine sound to it. But quite frankly, we love the name Gus, and we love Gus herself, and she doesn't seem to mind. So we're just going to stick with it. So I hope you found this helpful to come up with some inspiration to find the perfect name for your Great Dane. And until next time, stay Danny, my friends.